Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4 with the Cossacks expansion. Now I've spent a little time overlooking the map here and trying to figure out who I want to play as and I've come to the conclusion and I originally was thinking Mongolia because hell it's Mongolia. I thought it would be cool to forge a Mongolian Empire but the problem with that is this. They are a vassal state to Oirat which would make a pretty slow early game, I think, and you wouldn't really be able to control how things went. Oirat would be declaring wars and things like that. So what I decided to do was go with uh, one of these three, uh, Yurin, Yurin, that's what I'm going to uh, go with. I'm, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hachi and Jianzu over here, and I think I'm going to go with, well, let's see, which of these three is going to be the, well, they all have the exact same, Manchu ideas because they're like three three lesser partners of a greater state and I think looking at what we're working with here Yernin has the most uh, I keep saying Yernin that's not correct has the most provinces but Jianzu has the most development which is going to give them the the best starting and also they're bordering uh, you know Korea and you know, I, think, I, think, I think I like that why don't we go with, with Jean Zhu here? I like this area partially because it, it, it is on the coastline, so it's going to have some nice um, potential for expansion later on in the game. So we're going to go with that. Alrighty, now something I'm definitely going to have to worry about in this playthrough is uh, I'm playing Horde, which is, it, it's got some very interesting mechanics. And let's see if we can find where it is tech-wise. We are nomadic, which is 175% uh, monarch points, 75% extra from from the normal. And I believe these are both Chinese, which is 160. Let's see here. Uh, tech group Chinese, yes, 160%. So Ming and Korea and Japan are going to be able to out-tech me pretty quickly. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Now, first things first, we're going to need some rivals. We're obviously going to pick um, these two guys because we're going to try to absorb them pretty quickly. Hachi. And do we want to pick Korea? I mean, they're much stronger than me. I, not, I don't necessarily think that's a good idea right now. Definitely don't think that's a good idea. We have a small income. I can afford... I can afford basically one of these guys. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking through and trying to find something good. Best thing I can I see on here is national unrest and discipline. I'm going to go with the discipline one because there is going to be some military early on. All right, so that's as, that's as far as I can get with that. Let's see. We need a mission. Improve our prestige. Unite the Jurchen tribes. Save the Manchu people in Shenyang. Where's Shenyang? Ming. Ooh. That's going to be tough. I don't think... I'm, ooh. There's actually a national decision for uniting the three tribes. I didn't even realize that. Uh, gains cores. Gains permanent claim. Gains prestige. Country changes to Manchu. I like that. Confucian becomes the new state religion. The new event. New traditions and ambition appears. All right, that's definitely going to be the short-term goal, is to take Hachi and Yurin right there. Definitely going to be my short-term goal. I really like the idea of having a, a horde army on the Ming border. Just because of the historical aspects of it, I just think that's going to be fun. So let's see here. Trade-wise, we are completely encompassed in the Girin trade node here. Girin? Girin? I'm going to go with Girin trade node. My pronunciation of pretty much everything is god awful. If you watch my my Black Ice series for Hearts of Iron, you know you guys already know that. All right, so we have some transports, some galleys, which we are. Do we need them up right now? We should probably leave those up. And we have one trade ship, so let's protect trade here. We do not necessarily need our military up right now, so we can save a little bit of money by dragging the slider down. And I think what I'm going to need to do is try to get an ally. And right now, I do not want the Koreans to attack me, so what we're going to do is we're going to act friendly towards them. 
we're going to manually manage our attitude and act friendly towards them because I do not want them to attack me. For Chin, on the other hand, what we're going to do here, again, we're going to act friendly. We're both being friendly to each other. This is someone I definitely want to try to get on my side. So let's, uh, relations, improve relations, send that off. I have three diplomats, good. Um, I can, I, I can get a royal marriage over there, that's good. Because a promising trader. Oh, gain a trader. Wait till January 6th. There we go. Send off a royal marriage. There we go. An alliance. Now they're, now they're offering an alliance. Okay, already. We already uh, f managed to form ourselves an, uh, an alliance on one of our enemy's borders. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is covert actions, fabricate claim. We're going to start fabricating claims on Hachi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. I, that's how I always, you know, I, I tend to do that. Especially these games that I've played off screen before I start playing them for the channel. I form, I look at a word, form a pronunciation in my head, and it just sticks that way in my head. I don't know if Hachi is pronounced, is if that's how that's actually pronounced, but we're going to go with that. Alrighty. Horde unity is super high. It goes down yearly. It goes up with raids, I believe. It goes down over time and is increased by looting and racing provinces, which I'm not sure how to do. Race province. So I guess when you're at war... Yeah. I guess when you're at war with someone, you can move your troops in, raise the province, and what it does is it reduces its development, I believe. Only non-core provinces that you own and control can be raised. So you have to siege it down, and then you can raise it. I'm assuming you get money for it reduces its development and you get money. Nice. Were the, was that achievement button always there? Hmm. I do not know. I almost got this one. A sun god. Form Inca, westernize, and own all of South America as core provinces. Wow, I got close to that one. Well, relatively close. Own a province on, oh, on each continent. Uh, there's a lot of these in here. I like that it's right here now. Actually, I don't know if that was there before and I just didn't notice it. Every, every, we have been warned not to go to war with any countries. Any countries. I've been warned not to go to war with anybody. Again, uh, let's relations improve relations. Let's act neutral towards them. I'm really liking the auto manage thing. I think that's going to be a, a big bo big bonus for, for the game right here. I love this. You can auto manage how you look at other states. I love, not auto manage, manually manage is what I'm looking for. I absolutely love that. Let's try to get these guys on my side too. I might need to fight them later, but for now I think we can try to Well, at least we got Kor Chin on my side. Well, I got all my guys working right now. I'm going to try to get my, you know, the people I don't want to fight right now, definitely going to try to get on my side. Or at least, you know, not, not hate me to the point where they want to attack me, rival. Okay, so they already rivaled me. So I don't know, I don't think that's... Growth of uh, tribal influence. A tribal state is always somewhat unstable. Some clans will always increase their influence over the others, only to collapse ju again just as suddenly. Lightly, a new group of tribal leaders come to extend their power over the lesser tribes considerably. Alright, so the tribes... Right here. Gained influence. Overall effect on this state in the country depends on their influence and loyalty. The current influence level, tribes have the following effect. So right now, our influence, their influence is... No, that's loyalty. Influence is 48%. Which means they are manpower recovery speed fifty percent right in the middle there, and cavalry, cavalry cost goes down if they'll if it goes up even higher. See, I can support you can. Ah, oh, that's cool. Increase their loyalty basically by by giving them money. All right. So what we're definitely going to need is a larger military if we're going to be trying to fight Hachi here. Rival hostile relations have a claim. 
I'll, I, I kind of hate that Ming has already warned me, but I did pick someone that has a small border with them. All right, what do we got here? Same religion alliance improve. So that'll that'll go up real high. Now that one's Ming, right? Yeah. Basically, what I want to do with Ming is not have them get in the way while I try to form the state of Manchu. All right, there we go. Cost of spell eye. Over here, let's improve relations because right now, all that all I need, just that one cost of spell eye is what I really need. All right, it's still in the positive, and we they have seven thousand and two thousand. I have six thousand and two thousand. So let's get. Oh, that's that's super pricey. But let's get one thousand more cavalry than them. That'll get bring me up to eleven thousand. Ooh, what is my force limit though? Sixteen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Poland. Tell us about the event success rate of, of Vladislav the, the, the third. Poland is super fun to play in this game. Super fun. Done it a lot, actually. And there's a lot of different ways you can take it. Alright, now what kind of territory are we looking at over here? Grasslands, grasslands, steps, steps, woods, steps. Alright, so. What's going to be beneficial for me when we do go to war is to probably to go on the offensive because I've got a lot of, well, if they come into my land, I'm going to have to try to chase them down through the woods and the mountains. It's almost all mountains, which is good defensively, but I would have to lure them into a battle basically. But if I could immediately attack them and, and, and get, you know, put their army on the ropes, they would barely have anywhere to run to. I do have Korchin right here. All right. Hachi declared war on Yuren. Yuren which means they're in a prime position to... Uh, I'm wondering, though, if I declare war on them, what will the Ming do? What would the Ming do if I declared war? No diplomat to send. Oh, they're all busy right now. Uh, I'm going to wait to see what happens up here. Because if they can slap the shit out of each other for a while, that'd be beneficial for me. That's Korchin, right? Yeah. I think they would join me. Well, it's an it, it's an offensive war. That's the thing. It's a diplomatic instead. No, uh, Korea and Ming's opinion. Okay, yeah, we're going to take that. They actually, you know, the current relations are actually really good, even though they feel hostile towards me. Um, I'm going to need one of these guys back. Alright, so let's test this out. The Ming... Ah, that's unfortunate. The Ming would join in. So they may intervene. Oh, that sucks. You know what? That might mean... <laughs> Tribal feud. Our tribe is mightier. Orgol. So I basically don't need a reason to go to war up here. Let's, um, I guess you know what we're going to do? We are going to change our objectives. Because Ming warned me not to go to war, which means I can't, I can't go over there without them getting pissy about it. You know what we need? We need we need this guy to not be causing me upkeep right now. Our military is too big, and our income's too small. Declare colonial war. Tribal feud. Maybe if it's a tribal feud, it doesn't doesn't work as well. Diplomacy, covert, fabricate. All right, let's do that. Maybe tribal feuds you can't call allies into. I mean, it doesn't look like they're very interested in actually fighting each other. What I don't like the idea of is... Okay, here we go. Is Hachi getting the edge on Yuren here? And then that would give them power over me. 
The fact that the Ming warned me not to go to war kind of annoys me. Alright, they're slapping the shit out of each other. Alright, that was ba that, that was a really good kind of battle of attrition there. They both took heavy casualties, so I'm perfectly fine with the way that worked out for me. Oh, fleet maintenance is what I put down. Alright, so maybe... Well, the, now what I'm thinking, what, 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 what is Hachi going to take from this? I do not know how much land they're going to want to try to take. And as my army's sitting here... And again, I can't... Can't declare war because Ming is being kind of a bitch. Declare war, yeah, look at that. Even if it's a tribal feud, they will... They will come in. Damn it. Mountains. Alright, let's uh let's wait for their army to move by. You know, they're probably sieging down their capital right here. I think we should probably wait for this war to end before we do anything which means our economy is going to be suffering. All right, yeah, we're going to have to drop that down. I have to drop that down a little bit. I'm wondering if what is the war over? No. Attacker against uh, It's a conquest war. Interesting. Oh, now now these guys have the upper hand. Alliance from Korchin. Didn't we already have an alliance with Korchin? I'm a little confused. I could have sworn we already had an alliance with them. Alright, I guess not. Alright, so let's look at this now. I mean, I now uh, has not been promised territorial, territorial gains from this war. They will most likely not accept. If we pro- Oh! I like that. If we promise them territorial gains in the war, they'll be more likely to come in and help me. But again, can't attack the Hachi without the Ming getting involved. So I guess what we're going to be doing is either waiting for that warning to decay away, or waiting for them to implode due to internal strife. So now is the perfect time for plucking. So let's see here. We can do just do a straight up conquest, or they will not accept. Right, but do we? What if we promise them one province? If we win the war and do not give them a fair share of the peace treaty, they will be very upset. But well, if we don't call them in, then then they then they won't break. It won't break anything. And they're moving. Where are they moving to right now? We'll arrive in El Chuck. I don't see that province. Alright, well, now is the right time to attack, I think. So... Let's take it. Declare war. First things first, we're gonna <laughs> drag this up because... Oh, it automatically did it for me. And what we're going to do is immediately walk towards their capital and take it. Or should we should we go for their army first? Probably should go for their army first, because they're going to go for my capital. And it looks like we lost our light ship. That's, a, that's not a big deal. Alright, I completely forgot. I always do that. I completely forgot to move my maintenance slider up first. But that's actually going to be a, a, not a big deal. I mean, we could have taken out this army easier. Oh, and they're still at war with Hachi here, it looks like. So what we're going to do is wait for my morale to go all the way up. We just have to wait another month. There we go. And then we'll attack their army 2-1 to one in the grasslands. Oh, you know what we need? Make a leader out of our... Our general out of our leader. A 1-4-1. One, one. 
Not too bad. That four is going to be really good for our cavalry. And we're going to wipe out their army. Wow, that was a hell of a roll. And, and then it went right back the other way around. Alright, stack wipe their army. And then we're going to go straight to their capital. Easy. Easy as can be. Oh, damn it. That's problematic for me. I guess it's going to be a a um a race to see who can grab what land. Yep. Ah, I was afraid of that. All right. Well, that's going to leave me a few provinces, but Hachi took a lot of that land. We basically split the difference. I took some. They're going to take some. A happiness amongst peasantry. Gain prestige, lose stability, or lose some ducats. Hmm. How much would it cost to bring it back up? Oh, I forgot to... I completely forgot to uh, take one of these. Form an alliance with Ming. Prove our prestige. Manpower recovery speed. Uh, I'm going to try this one. I'm gonna, right now, I'm going to take the ducats. It'll force us to have a loan. Well, we we can do... Oh, damn it. I, all right. Let's uh, let's chase these guys down. God damn it. All right. We're going we're gonna to get there in time. There we go. Or not. Just chasing down these little 1,000 stacks is... I'm going to have to split my army. Split in half. There we go. And this one up here. Chasing down these little guys is going to get really annoying real fast. There we go. There we go. Let's recall that. Diplomacy. Now they will not accept because we're in an offensive war right now. So we are just going to have to finish this war up, won't we? Man, they got a lot of land, including their capital, which is probably going to be the most valuable one. I'm only to be, they got one, two, three, four, five, six provinces, it looks like. I'm going to only get four out of it, so they definitely got the upper hand on me there. But thankfully, oh, they're blockading the port there. Or they're blockading the strait. I can't get in. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. Now they're blockading me in here. Oh, well, now I can get across. No, 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 there's two fleets. I was about to say, what's going on here? There's two fleets. But at least I do have a good ally here. I do have a good ally. Alright, so now we just gotta wait this one out. We, um, it's gonna take a little while. Unless we get some real good good rolls. The fact that Hachi managed to gobble up that much of urine. Uren? Uren? I'm going to go with Uren so I can stop saying urine. Is a little unfortunate. More than a little unfortunate. Now we can't get across there. Still blockaded. Definitely unfortunate. I was hoping that that would not happen, but it did, but... I think, I think we'll be okay. We have a very good ally over here. Although I'm a heretic. I'm not... He's Tengri. I'm Tengri. Uh, I'm... T yeah, we're all Tengri. Heathens. Oh. That's why I was like, it's Tengri up here. No, the, the state isn't Tengri. Just that cult, just that area is. Alright, so they have a different state religion. Ah, I feel like Hodge. Uh, the, the fact that Ming warned me not to attack them, that's a big pain in the butt because I was going to attack them first. And the Ming kind of screwed that one up. Very unfortunate. Well, we gotta make sure that we keep this up. Let's improve relations here. Korea, they just hate us. I already got that one up. I'm 
man, they hate us too. Fabricate a claim. We're gonna get claims in Hachi territory. All right, a uh, good roll would do the trick now. All right. Ming declared war on Mongolia. Not terribly surprising. Hopefully, they won't come up this way anytime soon. All right, as soon as we finish this, we should be just about done. I mean, I'll need to take out... What do they got? One, four, four. And they have a... a hmm. I got 11, they got nine. Well, let's see what we can get from... from here. All right, recall that diplomat, not getting anywhere else. Oh, still in, I, I don't have any diplomats and I'm still in a defensive war. Oh, damn it. Negative one stability. All right, comet's been sighted. Uh, it's an omen, lose one stability. That was unfortunate. All right, 99%. Or is it going to let me full annex them? Part of a world goal is not resolve extra cost. Okay. So it's blockaded, and I don't necessarily want to fight their navy. So we can just leave them that, I guess. And they will be, and what's left of them will become a vassal. Give up all claims in my land. That's basically every everything I can get from them. And all of their money. Send demand. Alright, fine. Alright, well that that's that. High liberty desire. I'm sure they do. They don't like me. Alrighty, so, got to take care of a couple things now. Uh, first things first, coring. Alright, manage that. I would say, this, 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 this screen's a little different, so I was like, wait, where's the button? Alright, well, at least this one has, uh, good development. I'm glad we have some admin power to use. So we're gonna core all that. Ugh, gotta boost my stability, back up to zero. Spend, like, all of my admin points and subjects. Yes, they hate my guts. That's perfectly understandable. They've basically been wiped off the map. Can't do anything in, for, for a month with them. So, yeah, we basically split the difference and cut their country in half, which means we're definitely going to come to blows pretty soon. So let's move our army down here. They have lost the conquest cost of That's perfectly fine. Protect trade, thank you. And, whoa! 23? Really? Why is that so high? Uh, you know what I bet? I bet when you... When you get money in war like that, it, it gives you it just added on top of your monthly income there. I was like, there's no way I'm making 23 ducats a month. We got a, We got a stable alliance here. They lack a monarchy. Oh, I think it's their like a Siberian tribal council or something like that. Oh, they're I'm allied with their rival. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, Shangzhou army strength, not the same religion group, neutral attitude. attitude. Navy strength, diplomatic reputation. I mean, it's not, it's not that far off. And we could try it for a little while. Improve relations, there we go. Get that going, and we're gonna keep doing this. Covert options. I'm not sure why they, they warned me not to go to war. They didn't warn Hachi not to go to war, though. 
definitely curious about that. But that's, that's a pretty good start. Me and Hachi split the difference with Yuren there. Uh, they're a vassal state now, so it's not a big deal. It's, it's disloyal. I, I well imagine that. I imagine they are. And tech-wise, where are we? How much is this actually going to cost? 1,048. That's a lot. All right, we called my diplomat. And you know what I can do if I want to? Well, I don't have access to any buildings yet. But let's see, what does the development really cost here? Local development costs 15%. Local missionary strength. And force limit. Supply limit modifier. Oh, you know what? I was. I, I should be looking right here. Capital city minus oh mountains plus fifty percent. Wow. So it's really expensive to develop in the mountains, which is unfortunate. Which probably means we're going to want to move it out of the mountains at some point. But we are out of time, uh, so we are going to leave this episode right here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis Four, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.